Hi guys, welcome to Nairobi Legal. My name is Rogers Gedinji and this video is an introduction into a legal unit called intellectual property. And specifically for this video, we will be focusing on copyright law in Kenya. And should you have any questions on matters copyright law in Kenya, uh, please um, drop me an email and I will be happy to respond to you. Now, intellectual property is a, a broad topic that is um, broken down into a specific topics such as uh, copyrights, trademarks, patents, and many others. So my goal is to enlighten law students, musicians, artists, DJs, ETC on the law of property relating to products and creations of the intellect such as um, ideas, expression of ideas, designs and creative marks and make you appreciate the different types of intellectual property in order to evaluate uh, their application and importance. So this is uh, my goal in the tutorials are to come. So with this in mind, um, for a student taking up um, the law of intellectual property, these are the key course texts that you could read uh, to get a proper grounding in matters intellectual property. I have had the chance to read each one of them and they provide a good guide to understanding IP law on a deeper level. Moving on to the key uh, aspects of uh, the discussion today, we will be focusing on copyright law within the jurisdiction of Kenya. But before we define what a copyright is, uh, we will first uh, look at the sources of copyright law in Kenya. And um, the first key source is the Kenya Copyright Act 2001. Uh, this act is available online for a student who needs um, to understand copyright law in Kenya. Please download it. Also for a musician, an artist, a DJ, a vlogger who might be interested in getting legal grounding or rather understanding how the law of copyright works in Kenya. Uh, these are the key sections I selected out of uh, this act that can give you the basics um, of copyright law in Kenya. The other source of copyright law in Kenya is the constitution uh, that provides for intellectual property according to these articles. Again, you can cross uh, reference these articles. Now, having known the sources of copyright law in Kenya, it is at this point that I want to introduce the objectives of this video. So in this uh, video, I intend to cover the definition of a copyright the three requirements are to get a copyright in Kenya. Uh, what do we uh, protect in terms of uh, our copyrights? Uh, why do we protect a copyright? How do we uh, protect copyright? And what rights does a copyright owner have? Now, with these objectives in mind, uh, let's proceed um, to discuss the definition of a copyright. Now, a copyright is an exclusive right granted to an owner of original work uh, which has been reduced into a tangible form. Now, having um, seen the definition of a copyright, um, these are the key examples of copyrights. As you can see, uh, music, artistic work, um, poems, drawings, um, etc. Uh, furthermore to this, it is at this point that we need to acknowledge that copyright does not protect ideas, copyright does not protect inventions, and copyright does not protect brands. Now, just to recap that, copyright does not protect ideas, but rather it protects expressions. Inventions are protected by another branch of intellectual property called patent law. 
uh, while brands are also protected by another branch of intellectual property law called trademarks. So again, just remind you, copyright does not protect ideas, but rather it protects expression. Now, the next objective uh, is to state the three requirements uh, to get a copyright in Kenya. So for you to be able to get a copyright in Kenya, remember, the subject matter needs to be copyrightable, uh, meaning that uh, it has to either be a literary work, a musical work, an audiovisual, or a sound recording, among other examples. Uh, the other requirement is that uh, that work has to be original and to show originality uh, your effort as um, the author of a copyright is enough uh, to prove that your work is original and also uh, keep it in mind that using an example of music or rather a song that you've created um, your music or that song uh, do not have to be good to be a copyright meaning that if you sang a song today it doesn't have to attract a lot of people for it to qualify for copyright so long as the subject matter was copyrightable so long as you put in some effort to come up with that song and so long as you've reduced uh, that song into a material form then it meets the three requirements of a copyright also, just to emphasize on tangibility, before your work has been put on paper, or rather in a digital medium, it is not a copyright. And this is a, an example that proves that copyright does not protect ideas, because in most cases, ideas are just within our minds. So it's until we act on them and express them, uh, that's when copyright steps in. No. Moving on to what do we protect? So as I've already emphasized, copyright protects expressions, a meaning original work of authorship. Ideas are never ever protected by copyright uh, protection uh, law in Kenya. So just again to give you perspective on this, uh, we used to have Tasca Project Fem in Kenya uh, which was a famous uh, show. Um, there is Project uh, Fem South Africa, and there is also American Idol. Now, these three shows have the same idea, and the idea is talented people come and present before judges, who then go ahead to select uh, the best uh, performer. So, looking at these three shows, the idea is the same performance a judge's selection of the best uh, or rather the most talented uh, person meaning that the idea is the same and so uh, given the fact that the idea is the same it does not amount to infringement but then uh, to shed more light on this however if Tusker project fame use the expression the colors the setup um, everything that you see uh, in terms of uh, the the way the american idol show is designed if tasker project firm replicated that then that means uh, that uh, it would have infringed on the copyright of american idol so you see uh, that um copyright does not um protect idea ideas the ideas in tasker project firm Project Films of Africa and American Idol are the same, meaning there is no infringement. So directors of Tusker Project Film or rather American Idol cannot sue Tusker Project Film for doing the same thing they are doing. But should Tusker Project Film go ahead to copy the colors and the setup and the expression of American Idol, then that amounts to copyright infringement. So, um, more. I want us to uh, discuss why the reasons why we protect copyrights. Now, copyrights are protected in Kenya to ensure that uh, we incentivize copyright owners. An example is um, imagine a musician, or rather, if an artist used to um, make um, 
their music and it's never paid for it's free of charge i mean everyone has access to it they will not have an incentive to work hard on producing better music so copyright as simply incentivizes them so that they can at least get some economic um, interests in their work and they're able to earn a living otherwise um, just like we started by saying a copyright um, is property in itself it's an intellectual property so you can earn a living from it also by protecting your music yeah it encourages creativity among young other young people to come up with a good music so the idea here is uh, to, to incentivize copyright owners now having uh, finished that discussion i want us to look at how do we protect copyright now as i have already emphasized copyright is protected by expression uh, meaning that um, you have to express your ideas in order to get copyright protection and uh, this is found in the copyright act 2001 now you may wonder does one uh, need to register their copyright in kenya uh, the answer is a no copyright does not need registration you get copyright protection in kenya automatically the moment the subject matter becomes eligible for copyright protection under section 2 of the copyright act 2001 so just to take you back on the requirements for copyright in kenya we talked about uh, subject matter uh, we talked about um, originality and we talked about uh, tangibility so once uh, those uh, three requirements are met and uh, your work falls uh, within uh, this uh, subject matter provided for in uh, uh, section 2 of uh, the copyright act then you automatically get a copyright and this means you do not have to register your copyright anywhere moving on to the last and most important part uh, of this uh, video uh, the rights uh, what rights do copyright owners have now i will use an example of uh, bahati the musician so uh, bahati has music in kenya and we know it and so as a result of that music bahati has a right of reproduction of his music he has a right of distribution of this music of his music uh, he has a right of translation or rather adaptation of his music and he, he has a right of public performance now as a copyright owner this means that bahati can control the act of reproduction by the publisher his manager manufacturer or producer meaning that bahati can put a limit can control um, who actually reproduces his music the other thing is that he also has to authorize you before you actually distribute copies of his work and this is very key um, the other thing is that you need to appreciate that in terms of um, authorship let me use an example of uh, books the right of distribution is terminated upon first sale or rather transfer of ownership of a particular copy so if have um, person a has written 50 copies of i've written a book and it has been uh, reproduced into 50 copies and one copy is sold to person b the copy sold to person b means in terms of this example means that person a has um, terminated the right of distribution in that particular copy or rather he has transferred ownership of that particular copy to the buyer in that case so um furthermore to this um i i want us uh, to appreciate that um as a copyright owner you have the right of public performance you have the right of broadcasting communication to the public and making available to the public your work these are the rights you have exclusive rights as a copyright owner now just to focus a little bit more on public performance which is a, a big thing now uh, given the current uh, lockdown 
Uh, public performance means uh, performance of a work at a place where the public can be present. That is the first option. Uh, you can see this uh, in terms of uh, the big events we normally have in Nairobi. Uh, we have the Jazz Festival, we have uh, uh, events at KICC where artists come and perform. So that's a public performance. All a place not open to the public, but where a substantial number of persons outside the normal circle of a family and its close acquaintances is present. So uh, this means, uh, let me use an example here. This means that um, using an example of South Seoul. A South Seoul can perform for an exclusive group of people, let's say 20 people, and this can be considered public performance. Uh, so they can go and have a public performance uh, targeting only 20 people. Um, furthermore to this, um, remember also, for a uh, South Seoul to have their music uh, played uh, somewhere, they have to authorize that. There has to be authority. And also, again, to further expound on a public performance, um, given the current situation, uh, we have uh, uh, people recording out videos uh, because of the lockdown, and then these uh, music videos are being played um, on different platforms. Uh, they're also being played by DJs. And now just to shed more light on the liabilities that may arise uh, in terms of uh, infringement of copyrights. Um, uh, um, in that regard, public performance also includes performance by means of recordings. So a recording can amount to public performance. Uh, and therefore, a musical work is considered publicly performed when a sound recording of that work or phonogram is played over amplification equipment for example in a club or a shopping mall so if you walk into a shopping mall and there is a music a south soul music being played in a mall uh, that is a deemed public performance and in most cases uh, if you have noticed a restaurants pay for the music that they play uh, and for their customers clubs also pay uh, for the music they play for their uh, customers and uh, this is one way of um, paying um, for the hard work of the many artists we have in Kenya. Now remember for those who um, infringe other people's copyrights in terms of uh, playing their music without consent, um, you can infringe all the rights of a copyright owner at once and this means uh, you'll have a heavy lawsuit. So you can actually infringe the right of reproduction by uh, reproducing someone else's work, distributing it, or rather even translating it, yeah, or even uh, carrying out a public performance without uh, the authority of the copyright owner. So more to this, uh, we have uh, copyright owners have a right of broadcasting and uh, they also have a right of translation and adaptation. Now, I want to explain translation. And also, before you translate someone's work, you need authority from them. So should you do uh, a translation without authority, uh, then you're carrying out a copyright infringement, and which is subject to penalty. Now, translation actually means expression of a work in a language other than that of the original version. Meaning that um, if I, uh, a Kikuyu artist, made a song and then a person comes and translates that song into Kiswahili, they must get permission from the original uh, owner of the copyright in the song. Uh, the other example is uh, adaptation. And in the current uh, circumstance, let me give you an example that will make uh, much more sense to us. Modification of a work to create another work amounts to adaptation. An example would be reading a very uh, interesting novel and then you act a movie out of it. That is a copyright infringement in terms of adaptation. So before you um, uh, create a movie out of a book, uh, you need to get permission from 
the original author of the book so that you can now create a movie based on the characters and the storyline of the movie. Uh, the last right of um, copyright owner is a uh, right of uh, broadcasting and as you can see from the slides it has been explained. So in light of the discussion we've had today, I'm sure you can understand how uh, one can acquire copyright and the rights that accrue to a copyright owner. So um, in this uh, subsequent video we will be explaining much more on copyrights. Uh, but this brings us to the end of copyrights uh, part 1. Uh, please remember to subscribe to Nairobi Legal. Uh, thank you.